when you guys are doing a problem like this, and I, and I do apologize, I did, not, I did not have a time last class period to go through this. So unless you guys would have looked it up in your book, which was obviously available to all of you, or you definitely also could have come in and gotten a question from me. But since neither of you, uh, I understand that. I'm actually going to do it a different problem, just so you guys can see. So hopefully, once you guys notice how I do this problem, you'll be able to see it's very easy to do your, your actual problem. So anyways, if you have a logarithm and you do not, I'm sorry? Oh. oh. So anyways, if you have this, um, your, uh, so in this case, if you do not have a base, then we will assume the base is going to be base 10. Okay. Now, I did give you guys in some notes of what exactly logarithms mean or what they represent. And what this would be is, what a logarithm is asking is 10 raised to what number is 10,000? That's basically what a logarithm is asking. So when you guys see a logarithm and you see this base and you see this number, what it's asking is 10 raised to what number gives you 100,000? Now, looking at it as a logarithm is usually probably pretty confusing. I would probably prefer to look at this as 10 as an exponential equation. 10 raised to the x equals 10,000. Right? In reality, what I just did was I just set my, I'm evaluating, right? So I'm trying to find the value that's equal to, trying to find a value so I can create a variable for that. And then basically what I'm doing is rewriting it in exponential form. So I think a lot of times when you're trying to evaluate a logarithm, it's easiest just to rewrite it in exponential form to solve. Yes? Wait, did you say so when there's no base for the logarithm, you assume it's 10? Yes. OK. okay. So um, now, how are we going to do this? So I'm going to ask you a question. Nick, let's pick on you. If I have 2 to the x equals 2 to the third power, what is x equal to? Let's just give it a random shot. If 2 to the x is equal to 2 to the third power, what would you say x is equal to? 3. Three. Kind of seems obvious, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the reason there's actually a rule which we call is the 1 to 1 property that makes that true. All right? But you guys can see it's pretty obvious. Now, these I do not have as the same, as the same power. You could say they're both powers. They're both exponents. But they don't have the same base, correct? However, can I rewrite them with the same base? Well. 10 to the first power is 10. 10 squared is 100. 10 cubed is 1,000. So what would give me 10 to the fourth? Now, do you guys see how x equals 4? So therefore, 10 raised to what number gives you 10,000? 10 raised to 4 gives you um, 10,000. So therefore, our evaluation, this logarithm is equal to 4. Cool?